Oh boy, well, this is insane to make, man. Um, looks like Lego Legends of Chima is officially 10 years old. Oh boy, how time went by. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 10 years ago, Lego Legends of Chima officially released. And oh boy, I was uh, six, 10 years ago, and I looked like that. Yes, I mean, such a badass, man. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I, I mean, <laughs> Lego Legends of Chima. I mean, let's talk about this. Lego Legends of Chima made me the person who I, who I am today. Because if Lego Legends of Chima wasn't actually... It didn't exist. I would never have found like Lego Dimensions, which is my favorite all time, you know, all time favorite game of all time. You know, it makes absolutely sense. Um, and without Lego Dimensions, I couldn't have made my first video. And without my first video, I couldn't have started this YouTube channel. Uh, it's it's weird to think, but it's all kind of connected in some way. And um, you know, it's. Weird to say, but yeah, Lego Legends of Chima. I was, I just adored that show back in the day. And my two officially first sets are actually, they are standing right there. Let's, let's take them. Yeah, so here I am. I got my first official Lego Legends of Chima sets, which was the buildable Gorzan with his, uh, you know, kind of axe or whatever, or, uh, you know, his his sharpie object weapon and the main man the myth the legend himself laval the lion with his epic blue sword and his shield on his back and oh boy i used to play with these guys i mean they're kind of like action figures you can pose them you can make them you know move and stuff they can run they can they can they can fight each other i mean it was epic man oh would you look at that ching ching <laughs> anyway yeah, I, I absolutely adored these things. And as time progressed, I eventually also got three Lego Legend Beast sets, which was the Crocodile, the Eagle, and the Lion. And obviously, I also got some other sets in the meanwhile, and you know, later down the line. And wow, I look back at it, and those were the greatest times, just watching that show, and playing with the characters. I just... You know, I just remember playing on the ground with these sets, building an entire army, and oh boy, it was epic. You know, later down the line, I also, you know, got a weird idea to make a YouTube channel with some of my friends. And uh, yeah, that was back in... Uh, okay, well, I was around 11. We eventually stopped that, because all the, the good stuff happened when you do it alone, and... Uh, I mean, isn't that like also a, 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 I mean, if you need, if you needed to do it yourself, you probably end up doing it better, right? I think that's something people say. Anyway, I just started this channel. I didn't know what to do. So I, I filmed my entire Lego Dimensions, uh, you know, collection that I had back then. And then after a while, after a, making a few, few videos, which was exactly, I guess, three years ago, yeah, yeah, something like that, I ended up making, you know, the best video on my entire YouTube channel, which is, uh, why Lego Legends of Shima should come back, and, you know, that, that video just blew up, man. To think about how many people actually watched that video, I mean, it's not really that I said a lot of interesting stuff, I just said, well, you know what, I like Lego Shima, it should probably come back, I've got a few ideas how they could do it, and, you know, just... Stones everywhere. People liked it. People liked it. People committed. People watched it, and that's the most important thing. Because I mean, it, you, you just got to you know tell about something you like, and boom, that happens. And you know, pure, pure, accidentally that I also did that. Uh, it wasn't planned or anything, but I just love that people liked it so much. Um, yeah, that was epic. So thank you that for that. But the most important thing. Lego Legends of Chima, 10 years, oh boy. Uh, like I said, I can't believe it, man. Uh, you know, some people might do, you know, interviewing actors or actresses from Lego Legends of Chima. I already did that, and I'm so, so grateful that the wonderful David Attar actually, and you know, wanted to uh, be a part of my interview. Um, that, that's also a few months ago, which is weird to say, because I just remember that specific moments 
you know, the voice actor of Krager, the, the, literally the character you grew up with, wants to, you know, liked my idea to do an interview and I just blew away, I just, I absolutely love that. Uh, some people also thought, well, wow, okay, well, how did this guy do that? And I've got no idea. He said, yeah, sure. <laughs> and, it, you know, it was wonderful. Um, yeah, and I guess, you know, there are other Chima channels out there. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> shut up, man, shut up. Um, who actually dedicate to Chima, which is epic. Uh, and, you know, and there is an entire Chima Discord group. And, you know, shout out to you, because we actually sang some songs together. That was very great memories. I actually... I found of my internet friends in there and uh, you know I really respect it. If you like something you need to connect with the other people who like it and you know you bond together. You you like the things and um, they like you know you like the things they like so you know I think this is just a fantastic opportunity to say thank you. Uh, thank you to Lego, thank you to you know um, Tommy and Brace and thank you to the entire Chima cast, thank you to the Chima Discord server you know uh, 10 years of Lego Legends of Chima. Oh boy, this is so weird to say. But, you know, Lego Chima appeared in Ninjago. A few, you know, a few scenes, few easter eggs, details, which was epic to see for the Ninjago and the Chima fans. And, you know, the lore of Ninjago is still part of Chima in some way. And I really expect that they don't forget about Chima. And, um, yeah, I mean... Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this very personal LEGO Legends of Chima 10 year anniversary video. Who knows, this video might blow up too, uh, but you know, this is personally just for me. And um, you know, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you know what? For Chima, let's go. Lots of things. I see hope. I see joy. I see the power of nature bringing us together instead of pulling us all apart. I see a world in balance and a future without limits. But most of all, I see the spirit of our friendship. I see the legends of Chima.